ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. This is Maria Sofia Puaso and on behalf of SM Investments Corporation, I will be your virtual tour guide for today. And later on, we will be having my companion to discuss some of the details about the company. Without further ado, let us start the company tour. As you can see, we are now in front of the building of SMIC. I know you're kinda excited to go in, but let me show you first a short video regarding SM Investments Corporation. SMIC, there's so much more that you will learn in this tour. Do you want more? I know, I know. With that, let me tell you a story about SM Investments Corporation. SM Investments Corporation or SMIC is a leading Philippine company that is invested in market-leading businesses in retail, banking and property and invest in different ventures. It was listed on the Philippine Stock Exchange in year 2005 and its assets include blue chip listed firms or those companies that has a large market capitalization such as SM Prime Holdings, BDO, and China Banking Corporation. The SM was founded by the late Henry C. Sr. and did you all know that this huge corporation was all started with C's dream of selling a good pair of shoes to every Filipino? Having that dream, Henry C. Sr. opens the Pioneer Stores of SM along Rizal Avenue and one at Carrera de Manila in 1958, and he named it Schumart. Two years after that, SM Investments Corporation is incorporated. Since then, SM continues to expand by opening more stores in different places here in Metro Manila, building hotels, and transforming stores into department stores. Also acquiring banks such as Acme Savings Bank, currently known as BDO Unibank, and many more transactions. In more than six decades of operation, SMIC has achieved a lot. It was able to establish its own foundation, build its first mall, the SM North EDSA, which is the biggest and most modern commercial structure that pioneered the shop concept in the Philippines, build its first provincial mall, which is the SM City Cebu, and opens SMC Said City Cebu as region's newest landmark. And now, it has several malls all over the country and even in China. Last 2019, SMIC entered into a joint venture with Grab Philippines. And now, we are going to tour inside the SMIC's office with five destinations. The building lobby, conference room, marketing department office, operations department, and finance department office. So, let's go inside. This is the lobby of SMIC and for you to know more about the company, we will present to you its mission and vision, core values, goals, and objectives. I have with me my companion to talk about it more. You already know that SM Investments Incorporation is a leading Philippine company. And to know more about our management, let me discuss first our mission and vision. The mission and vision statements are the vital part of the organization infrastructure. They gave everyone involved in the company and shared purpose and direction. The mission set the direction for the company's goals and the vision should light a path for how the organization can get there. Here is the mission and vision of SMIC. 
Our mission is we will provide a consistently high standard of service to our customers, look after the welfare of our employees, and deliver sustainable returns to our shareholders at all times upholding the highest standards of corporate governance and environmental stewardship in all our businesses. Our vision is to build an ecosystem of sustainable businesses that are catalysts for responsible development in the communities we serve. Now let's talk about its culture and core values. SM Investment Corporation believes that having strong culture, anchored in common values is important in order to achieve concerted effort in creating shared values. So here's the people culture of SMIC. First, balancing supportive growth and effective oversight. SM Investment Corporation strives to achieve the right balance of empowering its people while providing safeguards for good governance practices. Second, embedding entrepreneurial spirit. SMIC provides a conducive environment for its people to engage in challenging activities or projects while ensuring a safe environment for learning and development. They also encourage open communication of ideas and motivating their people to do their best. Third is upholding the principles of equal opportunity. SM Investment Corporation protect the dignity of its people, look after their welfare, and protect their rights in accordance with its policies and code of ethics. Fourth is nurturing a sense of community. SMIC is making an effort in nurturing an environment where its people can build a positive and supportive work relationships, promoting a sense of belongingness where everyone looks out for each other. And lastly, working with a larger purpose. SMIC provides opportunities to its people to unleash their full potential and to achieve their life's greater goal. And in relation to its culture is their shared values. SM Investment Corporation upholds the following values, namely leadership, integrity, hard work, innovation, sustainability, and accountability, which serves as essential and underlying philosophies that guide the company and its employees. These values also influence the way SMIC interacts with its subsidiaries and affiliates, clients, shareholders, and other stakeholders. Goals and objectives of SMIC Going forward, the company's long-term priority is to continue strengthen their business by continuing to address the needs of millions of Filipinos, improving their quality of life, helping drive national development, and creating shared values. Let's proceed to the next destination. We are now here in the conference room where board meetings usually happens. And speaking of board, it's time to know who are the board of directors of SMIC and its subsidiaries. With me is Ms. Mangon to discuss about it. Now, let's find out who is behind the success and accomplishments of SM Investment Corporation. I'm sure they've got it all for you. SMIC's board of directors is composed of eight highly qualified directors, the majority of whom are non-executive directors. The board ensures that it has an appropriate mix of competence and expertise and that its members remain qualified for their positions, individually and collectively, which enables them to fulfill its roles and responsibilities. Let's start with the infamous Henry C. Sr. He was the founder of SM Group and was Chairman Emeritus of SM Prime Holdings, SM Development Corporation, and Highlands Prime Incorporated, BDO Unibank Incorporated, and Honorary Chairman of China Banking Corporation until his passing. Next, the Chairman of the Board, Jose Pichro, which was awarded as Best CFO in various years by several Hong Kong-based businesses' publications. 
the vice chairperson of the board, Teresita TC, she brings to the board her diverse expertise in retail merchandising, mall and real estate development, and banking and finance. Followed by the vice chairman of the board, Henry TC Jr. He is responsible for the real estate acquisitions and development activities of SM Group which includes the identification, evaluation, and negotiation for potential sites as well as the input of designs. Next, the Executive Director of SMIC, Harley TC. He is the Director of China Banking Corporation and other companies within the SM Group and advisor to the Board of Directors of BDO Unibank Incorporated and BDO Private Bank. The President and Chief Executive Officer Frederick C. Daigunsha, and last but not the least, the Independent Directors of SM Investment Corporation, Tomasa H. Lipana, Alfredo E. Pasqual, the Lead Independent Director, and Robert G. Vergara. It is on this brilliant minds, skilled, and talented people we can assure the future of SMIC. Up next, the SM Investment Corporation's core and its other equity investments. Let me introduce to you the core investments of SMIC. Let's start with the SM Retail Incorporated, the country's leading retailer with a nationwide portfolio of department stores, supermarkets, and specialty stores. SMIC owns 77.3% of its equity. As of 2020, SM Retail Incorporated has 66 SM stores, 59 supermarkets. 71 Walter Mart, 209 Save More, and over a thousand specialty stores in Alpha Marts. Next is the SM Prime Holdings, one of the largest integrated property developers in Southeast Asia that offers innovative and sustainable lifestyle cities with development of malls, residences, offices, hotels, and convention centers. It is also the largest in terms of assets in the Philippines. SMIC owns 49.7% of its equity. Another thing, SM Prime Holdings was incorporated in the Philippines in 1994. They started as a mall developer and operator and grew to be the biggest retail shopping center developer and operator in the Philippines. Not just that, they go beyond just building malls. Through its subsidiaries such as the SM Development Corporation or SMDC, Commercial Property Group, and Hotel and Convention Centers. Next is the BDO Unibank, commonly known as the Banco de Oro. It is a Philippine banking company based in Makati. In terms of total assets, the firm is the largest bank in the Philippines and the 15th largest in Southeast Asia as of March 31, 2016. BDO Unibank is also a member of the SM Group. SMIC owns 45.3% of its equity. BDO is a full-service universal bank that provides a complete array of industry-leading products and services to the retail and corporate markets, including lending, deposit-taking, foreign exchange, brokering, trust and investments, credit cards, corporate cash managements, and remittances. And lastly, the China Banking Corporation, one of the leading private universal banks in the Philippines. They offer a full range of banking products and services to the institutional, corporate, middle market, or commercial SMECs and individual customers as well as trip banking, invest investment, banking, insurance brokerage, and bank insurance. SMIC takes out 22.6% of its total equity. Let me further take you with their other equity investment. Some of these you surely know. Now let's talk about the other equity investments SMIC has. First is the Bell Corporation, which 26.4% of its equity is owned by SMIC. It is a developer of tourism and leisure destination in the Philippines. Its principal asset is the City of Dreams Manila in Pagcor Entertainment City by Manila Bay. Among its exclusive destinations are the club and golf facilities and residential communities of Tagaytay Highlands and Tagaytay Midlands. 
Well, that sounds bizarre. <laughs> well, next is the Atlas Consolidated Mining and Development Corporation, or Atlas Mining, which 34.1% is owned by SMIC. It is the largest producer of copper concentrates in the Philippines. It operates the Toledo Copper Mine in the province of Cebu through its wholly owned subsidiary Carmen Copper Corporation, or Carmen Copper. Next is the City Mall, which 34% of its equity is owned by SMIC. With this partnership with Double Dragon Properties Corporation, SMIC hopes to hasten the growth of its food business, retail brands, and supermarket chains across the country. Next is My Town. In 2017, SMIC invested in Philippines Urban Living Solutions Incorporated, or Pulse. It is a developer and operator of modern dormitories. Pulse operates the MyTown co-living brand and provides lifestyle-oriented living solutions to young urban professionals working in a variety of sectors. SMIC has a 63.3% stake in Pulse. Next is Goldilocks. Surely you brought your birthday case here. SMIC owns 74% of its equity. It is a leading Filipino bake shop heritage brand trusted by Filipino consumers for over 50 years. It has an extensive retail footprint of 800 stores in the Philippines, overseas operations in the United States, Canada, and Thailand. Next is Grab Bay. In 2019, SMIC entered into a joint venture with Grab Philippines. The joint venture expands cashless opportunities for its customers and provides an avenue to drive financial inclusions for millions of unbanked Filipinos. SMIC has a 34.5% share in the joint venture. Next is To Go Group Incorporated. It is the Philippines' largest integrated transportation and logistic provider. It offers multimodal transportations, warehousing and inventory management distribution, special containers, and project logistics as well as e-commerce logistics including last mile deliveries and express courier deliveries. Next is the Neo Group. Neo Group has seven commercial buildings within the largest and only PETSA certified IT park in Bonifacio Global City, Metro Manila. The seven buildings has a tenant base that includes top tier local and multinational companies. As of June 30, 2020, SMIC effectively owns 95% of its first five properties and 34% of the latest two properties in the NEO portfolio. And lastly, the airspeed of which 34% of its equity is owned by SMIC. It offers freight tran transportation via air, sea, or land. It makes use of the most advanced facilities and technologies to make sure that your packages are stored and handled as efficiently as possible. It also offers customs broker when importing and exporting. Well, that's all for its subsidiaries and equity investments. Here is the marketing department office. The people working in this place are responsible for marketing and formation management about SMIC. So I have with me Ms. Mahadas to discuss the tagline and logo of SMIC and Ms. Igar to elaborate the marketing aspect of SMIC. Hello investors, welcome to marketing department. I'm Shara Mahadas and I'm here to discuss about the tagline and the logo of SM Investment Corporation. Come on in, look at what we've got. There's so much more, there's such a lot. Here at SM, we've got it all. We've got it all. Lots of excitement, we've got it. Shopping to be it's all everywhere. At SM, it's all at SM. Here at SM, we've got it all for you. Did you hear that? That is the famous song of SM Market. And the we've got it all for you is our tagline in SM Investment Corporation. SM Investment Corporation or SMIC is a known parent company of products and services that have become part of everyday lives of Filipinos. Our tagline we've got it all for you 
is literally means offering everything to our valued customer. One thing that Henry C., the pioneer of SMIC, envisioned in his businesses. To sum up, the tagline is our guiding principle in the level of efficiency we keep in the product and services we offer. For the logo, SMIC use SM initial on the left part of the logo. The SM stand for Schumart, which is the first corporate brand established by Henry C. in 1958, before it became the SMIC now. For the color, SMIC use a color blue and white to represent the logo of the corporation. To know more about the market aspect, next to me is Miss Jonna, who will further discuss about the marketing of SMIC. Good day everyone, I am Jonalyn Igor from the marketing team. Behind the success of SM Investment Corporation is its excellent marketing management. As one of Asia's leading conglomerates, SM Investment Corporation is among a handful of companies that is well positioned given its diversified retail network and company-wide commitment to sustainability, inclusive growth, and value creation. Part of the marketing aspect of SM Investment Corporation is knowing our competitors in order to gain knowledge to create marketing strategies that take advantage of our competitors' weaknesses and improve our own business performance. So now, let me tell you who are the competitors of SM Investment Corporation. The existing competitors of SMIC are Ayala Corporation, LT Group, which is a holding company of Chinese Filipino business tycoon Lu Xutan, the JG Summit Holdings, San Miguel Corporation, which is best known for its internationally distributed beer, and Alliance Global Group, in which its subsidiaries include Mega World, Emperador, and Travelers International. The common denominator of the companies that I've mentioned is their engagement in diversified business activities, including retail, shopping malls, food and beverage property development, banking, logistics, and transportation. Let me emphasize that SMIC's penetrated market include those middle-class and upper-middle-class households, the same with the penetrated market of Ayala Corporation, whereas GG Summit Holdings penetrate on those middle-class households with rising disposable income. So now, let's move on to our company's competitive advantage. SM Investment Corporation currently holds the strongest market position in the country mainly because of the following reasons. Number one, SMIC has diversified business activities which provide quality services from retail to real estate development to financial services in order to meet the growing domestic consumption of the market. Number two, it has a strong market presence as well as an excellent brand image and brand reputation of providing value for customers. Number three, SMIC has a fast-growing residential development expertise that is sitting at the sweet spot of the local real estate markets. Number four, they have a strong financial statements because of its intelligent working capital, positive cash flow, a balanced capital structure, and income generating assets. Number five, SMIC has an experience management team which is helpful to the overall growth of the company and lastly SMIC has overall corporate reputation in the Philippines and abroad which has brought numerous awards for corporate excellence corporate governance and financial management and did you know that SMIC is the only Philippine conglomerate that garnered a spot in Forbes 2019 world's best regarded companies Yes, you heard it right. It only proves how globally competitive SM Investment Corporation is. In fact, recently, SM Investment Corporation and BDO Unibank together with other four large companies in the Philippines made it to Forbes Magazine's 19th Annual Global 2000 list. And among the six Filipino firms in the list, SMIC has the biggest market value at $24.3 billion dollars followed by Ayala at $9.8 billion and BDO at $9.5 billion. And now, let's dig deeper to the key strategies of SMIC in reaching the top. 
First, maintain its leading market share in the shopping mall sector by continuing to expand the mall and retail activities into major centers of population in Metro Manila and in the provinces where there are opportunities for growth, at the same time capture strategic opportunities overseas, particularly in China. Second, continue to capture a significant share of retail spending in the Philippines by providing the most attractive retail and leisure facilities to Philippine mass market consumers. And third, continue to grow its financial service businesses including through acquisitions by BDO and develop further synergies between financial services and the shopping malls. Fourth, diversify and expand the business of the group including through acquisition in the property development, tourism, and leisure sectors as the Philippines become a more attractive tourist destination. Fifth, integrate all land banking functions into a centralized department while retaining the highly successful culture that allowed SMIC to reach its strong current land bank position and continue acquiring land bank that is suitable for mid to large scale mixed use master plan projects in fast growing areas of the Philippines. And to summarize everything, SM Investment Corporation continues to explore and invest in high growth business that can potentially enhance group synergies and offer stable cash flows with attractive financial returns. SMIC invests in growth sectors and market leaders which includes logistics, gaming and leisure, food manufacturing, natural resources, dormitories, and office properties. And that's all for marketing aspect of SM Investment Corporation. The next office will be Operations Management. So this is the Operations Management Department. They are responsible for overseeing the operation and processes of SMIC. I have with me again Ms. Mahadas to talk about the things you need to know with regards to our company's operation. Hello investors, welcome to Operation Department. I'm here again as a representative to discuss the operation in SM Investment Corporation. SMIC operation revolves around retail, property, banking, and equity investments. For SMIC process, we ensure that we present value for our stakeholders. By that, we are focused on creating values, progression, and being guided by our own values and framework to successfully navigate through business, resulting to a good relationship with our stakeholders. For the value creation of SMIC, SMIC creates value by considering our resources such as our brand, relationship with customer, our people, development, connection with communities, natural resources, supply chain network, and financial resources. Through being customer focus, making innovations, optimizing the business ecosystem, creating a dynamic world for our people, and applying responsible business practices and good corporate governance. The values generated is distributed through product deliveries, having purpose-driven work for our people, inclusion of communities in social and financial aspects, being responsible in environment, and being active on global sustainability development agenda. For SMIC framework, we strategize our performance to achieve the sustained growth shared values, positive impact on social and environment, through economic opportunities, environmental responsibility, positive social impact, and good corporate governance, which is based on our company's vision and mission. In terms of how SMIC progress their commitments to our stakeholders, our stakeholders are welcome with openness, professionalism, and motivated working environment. Our company ensures that we engage and aid the concern of our stakeholders in economic performance, market presence, employees' welfare, occupational health and safety. Through surveys, dialogues, meetings, volunteerism activities, performance assessments, and rewards. In the execution of quality control, SMIC provides rules and policies that 
followed by the corporation. First is the Manual of Corporate Governance. It is a set of guidelines to institutionalize the principle of good governance. It includes the defining of compliance system, the duties of board of directors, the right of stockholders, the guidelines on disclosure, transparency, communication, and training programs in corporate governance. SMIC also have Code of Ethics to emphasize the importance of integrity on the relationship with our business partners, as well as the company's duties to employees' welfare, the right of stockholders, and the protection of company's information. And lastly, the importance of corporate social responsibilities. As for the employees' welfare, the company ensures that we provide good working environment for the employees. The corporation also gives orientation and training programs for our employees and members. Aside from the given, we also have other corporate governance policies related to insider trading policies, related party transaction, conflict of interest policy, guidelines on receiving gifts from business partners, guidelines on placement of advertisement, Policy on Accountability, Integrity, and Vigilance. Policy on Selection of Vendors and Purchasing Goods and Services. Upholding Editor's Right and Alternative Resolution System. For Logistic, SMIC have to go. To go is subsidiary company of SM Investment Corporation. They offer anti-model transportation warehouse, inventory management, distribution, special containers, project logistics, as well as e-logistics, including last mile deliveries and express courier deliveries. For the capabilities of SMIC, since they have a wide scope of industry, they successfully navigate their way to global economic performance. In fact, their total economic value generated amounts to 397 billion while their total economic value distributed is amounting to 371.3 billion and their total economic value retained cost to 25.7 billion aside from that sm investment corporation also cre creates job opportunities to filipino people they have a total headcount of 130,421 as of Forbes 2019. They also achieved the Global Sword Best Employers and the Global Sword Best Regarded Companies. In addition to contribution on National Development Goals, SMIC also regarded as top taxpayer in different municipalities. They have paid a total of 15.7 billion as of the year. 2020 and that's all for operation department we are now heading to our last destination finally the finance department i know it's kind of complicated here because we are dealing with numbers and other technical things but i hope you learn a lot from our experts regarding the financial aspect of smic good day everyone I'm Catherine Nagaso, your finance representative of SM Investment Incorporation, and I'm going to present to you our technical chart. Here, we present to you the technical chart of SMIC from year 2010 up to 2021. This chart presents a candlelight sticks, which is useful when trading, as they show four price points, the open, close, high, and low, throughout the period of the time the trader specify. Candle represent change in price for given time frame. Green means candle is bullish while red is bearish. From a point candle has started its formation, a price from this point going up, the candle will have green color. That means that there are more shares being brought or sold for today. If the price from this point going down, the candle will have red color, which means that the closing price today is lower than the opening price. As shown in the table, the initial public offering of SMIC as of March 22, 2005 is 250 pesos. Next is the 52-week low which is 880 pesos on May 14, 2021. On the other hand, 
52 week high is 1,095 pesos on February 10, 2021, while the lowest price since IPO date is 88 pesos, and the highest price since IPO date is 1,142 pesos. As we have shown to you the graphical representation of historical price, volume, and time interval of SMIC, I hope this technical chart will help traders take an informed decision while making financial commitment in the markets. Good morning everyone! I will be showing you the financial statements as well as the comparative FS of our company. In front of you is the statement of financial position, statement of comprehensive income, statement of changes in equity, and the statement of cash flow. Now let me show you the comparative financial statement. It is easy to see that under the statement of financial position, the total assets including the current and non-current has increased in year 2020 compared to the previous year. This causes the total liabilities to increase in the same year. We can also see in here that the total equity of SMIC in 2019 has gained the total amount of 21,205,870, totaling to 405,832,945 in the next year. If you notice, there is a green and red arrows between the amounts. Green arrows indicates that the changes is good for the company, and the red arrows stands for a warning. We all know that 2020 has not been easy for everyone, especially to the business industry, and the effect of COVID-19 pandemic is reflected to this comparative income statement. Due to quarantines, the income during 2020 has dropped comparing to the company income in year 2019. You can clearly see the big difference of amounts in the data. The good changes are the decrease in cost of sales, operating expenses, and income taxes since the operation is limited. On the other hand, the sales revenue, gross income, operating income up to the net income has a red arrow that signals a company a warning. And this is understandable because of what we are currently facing, right? The next table shows lower net income margin and earnings per share. But there is also high and good P.E. ratio and book value per share. We know that those numerical information is somehow bother you. However, the SM Investments Corporation is assuring you that its position in the industry is not changing and we will strive to gain the losses we acquired during the pandemic. Hello, good morning. I am Alana Tinis and Iglesia, a finance representative of SM Investments Corporation. I am going to discuss the financial ratios of SMIC. First off, we have liquidity or solvency ratio that includes current ratio, quick ratio, and cash ratio. For the year 2020, the current ratio is 1.06, while in 2019, it is 1.26. The quick ratio for 2020 is 0.76 and on 2019, it is 0.71. Lastly, for liquidity ratio, the cash ratio June 2020 is 0.33 and 0.39 during 2019. The red arrows pointing downwards in current ratio and quick ratio indicates the decrease on the value during 2020. Compared to 2019, the quick ratio from 2020 increased, which is good for the company. Next is the efficiency ratio. There has been a decrease in the value of inventory turnover from 3.88 on 2019 to 3.23 on 2020. The average age of inventory increased from 94.07 days to 113.05 days, which is not good because for the average age of inventory, the least number of days is better. The receivables turnover also decreased to 6.67 in 2020 from 11.01 during 2019. Same goes with average age of inventory. The average collection period increased to 54.72 days from 33.15 days. Next is fixed asset turnover decreased to 11.11 11 on 2020 from 11.73 during 2019. At the same year, 2019, the total asset turnover is 0.44 which decreased to 0.32 on 2020. As can be seen in the presentation, 
the debt ratio and debt equity ratio both increased during 2020, which is not good for the company because the higher ratio of these both could mean high risk. For the year 2020, the gross profit margin is 28.50% and during 2019, it is 28.90%. Its value decreased, which also happened to net profit margin from 13.80% to 8.70%. The earnings per share on 2019 is 37, which decreased to 19.42 during 2020. Return on equity increased during 2020 from 0.12 to 0.61. On the other hand, the ratio of return on asset decreased. Finally, the market ratio. It is comprised of price earnings ratio, book value per share, and market book ratio. Compared to 2019, the price earnings ratio for 2020 increased with the ratio of 0.54. Book value per share also increased from 318 to 335.25, while market book ratio decreased on 2020 with the ratio of 3.13 coming from 3.28 on 2019. That is all. I hope you understand it very well. Thank you. Thank you, Madam and Sir, for allowing me to uh, tour you here in SMIC. I know you are looking for a company where you could invest your wealth and finances. The facts are speaking for itself. I hope you can consider and choose our business. This has been Maria Sofia Puaso, and once again, here at SM, we've got it all for you.